Hello, this is a quick walkthrough video of how mobile field responders can use the Carbon Cloud Sync Publishing app for Android devices. This is the app running in an emulator, and this is our main screen when you open the app. In the middle here we get your map, which is a Google map that's on every uh, Android device. On the top here we have our active layer with the amount of visible features for that particular bounding box. The plus here is how you add a new feature to that active layer. Down the bottom here are going to be our action menu items. <coughs> There's also a main menu here that gives you a few different options as well as settings. In settings is where you set your username, password, and the URL, as well as the max features per request. Um, so in this case, we'll change it from 5 to 25 and go back out here. Any changes to the settings is going to refresh the layers, and the layers are stored locally just to add some speed to the, to the app. If you need to refresh the layers manually, just click Refresh Layers from the menu and it'll do it. Alright, so we have uh, building GeoPoint as our active layer here um, and we have some features, two features visible. Um, there's a couple of different ways to select a feature. One is to click or touch on a feature. That'll select it. The second is to look at them in a click this button down the bottom here which will show them in a list. Um, in this case, we're we, in, in the management app, we set the primary f identifier to the feature type. So that's what we're seeing here is the feature type for those two features. And we choose the one with an auditorium. That's uh, this guy. Clicking it was selected on the map and center the map on it. Once a feature is selected, your options down the bottom here change. Uh, so we can look at the properties of it. We can edit it. We can delete it or we can cancel the selection. So if we just hit cancel, it'll deselect it and we'll get back to our, our list button here. But let's uh so let's select this guy up here and let's look at the properties of it real quick and you'll see that it's a um, TDS schema, so it's got a lot of stuff in it. Um, if we want to delete this guy, we just hit delete. We'll get a um, dialog asking us if we want to actually delete that. In this case we're gonna say no, but if we were to say yes, the feature would a request to delete the feature would get sent to the CloudSync service, which would then <coughs> process it further. Um, if we want to, if we're if we're a field user and we want to say quickly edit something, we can just highlight it. Um, let's look at the properties. Click edit, and you'll notice that the properties went from a lot to not too many, and that's because in the management app we designated that mobile users really only need to be res responsible for updating these five features um, and you can choose anything you want to do with that but in this example we just chose five so <coughs> we say the condition of the facility will change that to fully functional we'll make the feature function a refugee camp refugee shelter And if we look on the map here, we can see that the feature is highlighted here, and we can drag it around just, just up if we want to, you know, say move it right to the middle there. Hit submit, and that change will get submitted to the Cloud Sync service. If we want to add a new um, feature, we just hit the plus button. Uh, we'll say we'll put all of this building down here. Click add geometry. And we, once we drop it, we can move it around. Look at the properties. Once again, we only have um, five of them. Say the condition will make it uh, fully functional. Again, we'll make it a refugee shelter. Uh, we'll give it a name of shelter. Uh, look at the map again, make sure the jump is right, and just hit submit, and that'll submit a new feature to the WFS. In addition to uh, points, we support, support polygons and lines as well, so if we want to change the current layer, or active layer, I mean, to building geosurface here, you'll see a couple buildings now. And if we zoom out a bit, we say that we want to perhaps add a new building over here somewhere. We can just click the plus button, click draw geometry, 
and then drop our points in. Click End Geometry. That will give us our control points to, to move it around again a little more. We can zoom in a little closer to make that more accurate. Um, look at the properties. And in this case, we didn't restrict the, the fields at all. So we're getting the entire TDS schema that the user will have the <coughs> ability to change it. So we'll say the condition of the facility will make it fully functional. And that's it. We'll just submit it. <coughs> so that'll submit a, a polygon to the server for a new uh, building geosurface. Um, you can also edit edit um, polygons just like uh, any other one. So just highlight it. See it selects it. And if we hit edit, we'll see the control point show up here. Now in addition to polygons, we also support lines. Uh, so if we choose row geo curve real quick. Let me load up the, the roads around here. Now if we want to add a new road, just click uh, the plus button, start to draw geometry, start drawing our road here. Alright, just hit end geometry and we'll see that control point show up again. Uh, go into properties real quick. Again, this is one we only have five here. Make the con condition of the thing fully functional. Um, we'll give it a name. And we'll hit submit. And, and that's it. Hopefully we've shown how easy it is to add points, lines, and polygons. Not only add them, but edit and delete them as well. Thank you.